Welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today, we're looking at Maximus. But before we do that, roll those credits. Right, so, Maximus. Um, this is a GAN body model. You'll know on this channel previously, we love GAN body models. We've done, we've done loads of them. Um, this one I really like. It's smaller than what we're used to doing. The reason for that is I'm out of space. Um, as it is, I've got nowhere to put this one and I've got like three other things on the go at the minute. So... This was done at 174%, believe it or not. So it's, it's a lot bigger than it, it usually comes as. The reason it was like 174% was because of the base. I think I printed that on an LK4. Um, so that's the size I could squeeze it on the bed, which is why it come out at random 174%. Um, I've got to say, as print jobs go on this, I'm really pleased with this one. So this is all FDM, apart from the head, which is resin. Reason being is, um, printed it all up. I actually printed all this up before Christmas, but it has been so cold over the winter in my, uh, in my studio, it's just too cold to go out there and paint for any amount of time. So I left it to one side, got this done the other week. Now, as I said, this is all done in FDM apart from the head. I did the head in FDM and it looked really good up until I painted it. When I painted it, there was like three lines that went right across the middle of the face. Um, and it was the only bad part of the entire print. So I stuck the head on the resin printer on the Tech 100. And there you go, it came out lovely. So paint for this. Um, You'll, you'll see on the close-up that we'll do in a minute. Um, for the sand, what I actually did is I had a pot of uh, like terrain sand that I think people who paint Warhammer and stuff like that, they use for the bases on the little figures. Um, I basically painted the base, did it like a sand, sand beige, then I PVA'd it and just sprinkled all the sand over it. And it came out really well as a sand effect. Um, for the rest of the painting on this, um, this was this was all done. Well, it was done a mix of airbrush and uh, and brush. Um, what I basically did is I airbrushed all the black and all the blue, and then the rest of everything else was done by brush. Um, because basically, I was just putting down the base colours. It's quicker just to do it as an airbrush. Um, I'm really happy with the skin tones on this, and I'm really happy with the face. You'll see in the close-up as well, this really looks like Russell Crowe. Really looks like him. The only part of this which I found a real pain was the base. So when this prints, obviously, there's supports in loads of it. Um, and I've, Although they were tree supports... The support interface was probably just a little bit too low because it took, oh God knows how much time it took me to remove all the support interfaces out of there to the point where you get hand cramp and then you have to go back to it another time. Took ages. Um, with the paints, these were all Vallejo. Um, basic Vallejo paints with some low lights and high lights put on some of the blue material and stuff like that. You'll see from one of our previous videos, I, I did a video on skin tone. This skin tone was done exactly the same way um, with Citadel paints. I think it's Bugman's Glow, Cadian Flesh Tone, and another one. But if you watch the video, you'll find out what it is. And so go back and check that out. Um, what I'll do now, is I'll show you a close-up.
Now, I'll say it again, I really do like this model. I really like models that are um, facially accurate to who they're portraying. Some look a bit like the person, others are spot on. This is one of the ones that's spot on. Um, as I say, this is a GAN body model. We love GAN body models because they are heavily tested before they're released. If, for instance, you do find a fault with it and you tell them, that gets repaired quick. Um, GAN body models, they go together really well. Um, the key in, a lot of the keys are hidden, so on this you can't see any of the keys. You've got the head, the shoulder pauldrons, they're separate. You've got the torso, the arms are separate. The, um, what do you call them? The forearm guards, gauntlets, they're separate. The hands are separate. The sword is in two pieces. The like the leather f um, flaps on the front and back, they're both separate. The s they're like skirt is separate, the legs are separate, and the boots are separate. So there's a lot of pieces to this. And when you put it all together, you can't see any of the join lines because they hide them very well in their models, which is why I like GAN body models. So, what do you think? I really like this paint job. Although it's a very easy paint job, I thought, um, it, looks, it looks pretty good to look at. It looks like a detailed paint job, but it really actually isn't. The skin tone is the, is the longest part of doing this paint job. Um, there's probably more time spent on the face than there was all the black armour. Um, but yeah, let us know what you think. If you uh, want to see us do any other GAN body models that you've seen that we haven't done yet, Give us a shout, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.